So how much YouTube revenue did I make in 2020? So I'm gonna jump into my stats and show you everything. I'm gonna show you each month, I'm gonna show you the views, the CPMs, the RPMs, and I'll explain what both of those mean. And I'll just basically go over all of my YouTube analytics, the revenue portion, just so you can see exactly how much I've made. I also think it'll be useful to look at the average income overall, the average income per video, if anything I did within the year impacted my income in any way. And yes, I will tell you the video that's made me the most money in 2020. Now, just a note, all of the figures that I'm going to show you will be in Australian dollars because my analytics is set up for Australian dollars because I'm in Australia. But otherwise, everything else should be pretty much how you expect it to be. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you my analytics and how much I made from YouTube revenue in 2020. Well, first let's change it to 2020 so we can get an overview of 2020. And we can see my estimated revenue for the whole of the year 2020 is $8,158.63 which is an increase of 268% over the previous year. Let's go into monthly estimated revenue. We'll go into each month of last year. Okay, so in January, 544.25, February, 1,103.08, March, 862.78, April, 919.43, May, 909.16, June, 398.55, July, 503.25, August, 620.00, 474, September 533.83, October 569.42, November 645.83, and December 534.30. Now we can see I was making more around February, March, April than I was towards the end of the year. That has to do with a few factors. One is I was making less videos in the second half of the year. You can see that I was getting far more views back then than I was in the second half of the year. CPM, if anything, actually went up towards the end of the year and it just showed that because I was making less videos, I was getting less views and therefore less revenue. We can see that in overview when we look at views during that time, I was getting far more views in the first half of the year than I was in the second half of the year, mainly due to a lot less videos that I was producing in the second half of the year. But let's have a look at the top earning videos. The video that I earned the most, which is more than double any other video, is Living Off Dividends, which is still my best performing video. And the others around the 500 to 400 to 300 mark are dividend stocks, building a dividend portfolio, high yield dividend ETFs, and investing in ETFs. So as you can see, my highest earning videos are those that talk about dividends or investing in ETFs. We can actually have a look in more detail at the videos. The majority of my videos didn't even make $100 for the year. My budget videos really don't make a lot of money at all, $30, $35, $40, which is why I'm considering probably not doing them anymore just because I just don't make a lot of money from them and I'm just not sure it's worth keeping continuing doing them even though I know a lot of you do actually really enjoy them. Now let's have a quick talk about RPM and CPM. You can see that both of them are going slightly up towards the end of the year. So you might be wondering what the difference between RPM and CPM is. Basically CPM is on monetized playbacks only. That means not every video that's going to be played on your channel or on YouTube is going to be monetized. YouTube usually only plays an ad every eight to 10 minutes approximately. Like if you're watching an eight or 10 minute video, you'll probably see one or two ads depending on how the content creator has set up that video. But not every playback that you watch will have an ad associated. Whereas RPM gives a better overview of approximately a thousand views is what you're going to earn. So approximately every a thousand views I get on my channel, I'm going to be earning around $11.39 from my channel. So let's see how accurate RPM actually is in figuring out per thousand views, how accurate it is. I'll grab my calculator. And if we go over to overview, just so I can see my views, Wow, 716,000 views. That's crazy. That's nearly a million views. Oh my God. So if we go 716,000 divided by 1,000 equals 716 times 1139. 
equals 8,155.24, which is pretty close to my estimated revenue. So yeah, RPM is a much better way to work out per thousand views approximately how much you're going to make. So if we can go in and see that averages vary, obviously the spikes here are when I publish a video. When I don't publish a video, it keeps fairly stable, usually around somewhere around $15 to $20 is where I find myself on a particular day. And if we get a calculator and work that out, so we go 8,158, 63 divided by 365 days. Yeah, I'm averaging around $22 a day, which is great for passive income, but it's not likely to replace a real job. Most of my revenue just comes from ad watching and YouTube premium revenue is a very small portion not as many people have YouTube Premium. Now, I did gain over 12,500 subscribers, which increased my income. The majority of the subscribers were in the start of the year, and it sort of has petered out again because I haven't been making as many videos in the second half of the year. So it really does correlate to when you're making more videos, you will get more views and more subscribers, which makes sense. And you can see the video Living Off Dividends, which is my top earning video, also had the most views, which again makes complete sense. So what do I plan to do with this money? Well, the money from 2020 went towards bills, it went towards just general living expenses, but I plan to do something different in 2021. I want to take the money that the I get from revenue from YouTube and start doing some fun things. I probably won't buy stuff because I don't like buying stuff, but each month I might take the money that I earn, whether it's $500, whether it's more, and do something fun. That could be just going out to dinner. It could be going to see a show. It could be, if there's enough money, going in on a little mini vacation on the weekend or something. I just want to start doing some really fun, exciting things with the money that I'm earning. And of course, film it and show you what I'm doing with the money that I'm earning from YouTube. Of course, I'll be mindful of any lockdown restrictions, but luckily, I'm in Australia and in Brisbane and we are doing really, really well. Now that the stock market's improving, I don't think I need to be using it for bills or living expenses anymore. Um, dividends are starting to come back and the stock market's improving again. I feel like I can start doing more fun things, more things that are more exciting and that's what I'm going to use my YouTube money for and show you what I'm going to be using the YouTube money for and just generally having more fun. Well, that's it. That's how much YouTube revenue I earned in 2020. It's over 8,000 Australian dollars, which I think is actually pretty awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing how much money I make in 2021 and how much fun I can have with it. So I hope you found that interesting. I actually found it really interesting because I hadn't actually looked back until I started doing this video on how much money I'd actually made. I mean, I had a rough idea, but it was really interesting to go back and look at all the statistics and see which videos did the best. And now we can just go into 2021 and I can use that information and hopefully grow my channel and earn even more. Have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.